Hey gang, it's Matt. Um, it's been about a month since I last posted a video. Um, I think the last one was patties for my uh, Irish Whiskey of the Month in January. Um, so this is my February Irish Whiskey of the Month. Um, I didn't know where to go with this one. I was trying to stay away from the Valentine's theme, but I couldn't do it. Um, this particular Irish whiskey that I'm about to show you um, fits perfectly for Valentine's Day um, just due to the name. Um, it's it's uh, from Bowen Distillery. It's, it's from their main range of Irish whiskey, the Whistler. Um, the Whistler is one of my favorite ranges of Irish whiskey. I have never been let down by them. Um, them, Powers Irish whiskey, obviously Red Breast, but the Whistler is a very, very underrated Irish whiskey. Um, it doesn't matter which, which one you're going with, which expression. Um, and they're, the Whistler is a lot more affordable than Red Breasts um, and even your higher end Powers Irish whiskeys. So this one from Bowen Distillery, which is located in County Meath, um, the Whistler that I'm about to show you. Um, again, I, I was trying to stay away from a cheesy theme for February, but I couldn't help myself. Um, this one I've had before, but it's been a couple of years. Um, 2021, early 2021. It may have been February 2021, last time I had this. And I do remember, I, um, again, I enjoyed it. This one is a single malt. Whistler PX I love you cheese complete cheese but I really love the Whistler brand anyway so it's it works in my favor to be honest with you um, this is a no age statement Irish whiskey bottled at 46% ABV um, it was matured in American bourbon casks and finished in Spanish Pedro Jimenez um, sherry casks. Um, so we're going to get a lot of fruitiness probably in this one if I remember correctly. I don't have any tasting notes that I remember on this one. Um, I think when I first started getting into the whole Irish whiskey thing, I don't think I kept many notes. Um, like I do now anyway. So, so this one, I'm going to pop this particular bottle open for the first time. Again, I have had this one before, but it's, it's been a couple of years. Um, I don't know if you can see, but on every cork of the Whistler, they have little music notes. Um, so the, the Whistler, they got its name from, they say the Whistler himself. He's the founder and CEO of Bowie Distillery, uh, Pat Cooney. So I guess he's the Whistler. <laughs> so anyway... Right off the bat, right off the bat, it, that's a beautiful, deep, deep amber color. Um, not much legs to it, but this is a single malt. It's not a pot still. It's, it's not going to be as creamy as a pot still. Uh, but again, I just, I love the bottle. I thought it was perfect for Valentine's Day for February, so this is my whiskey of the month. PX, I love you. So, Slotcha. Very, very, this one, what the hell did I buy this one for? 42, I think this was a $42 bottle if I remember correctly. Well worth it. And, and the 46 ABV, in my opinion, that is the perfect range of alcohol percentage for an everyday sipping whiskey for me. I do like some of the higher cask strengths. This is not one of them, but I do like some of the cask strengths. But for an everyday sipping whiskey, 46% ABV is very good for me, 92 proof. So right off the bat, heavy brown sugar. Um, there, are, there are no notes on the bottle, what this is supposed to, uh, no writing as far as the notes. I'm getting a heavy brown sugar, some nuttiness. Some dark red fruits, uh, maybe like a dark cherry. Some raisins. And faint wood on the back end of that nose, or, or the, the background of that nose. So 
Man, it's just a great palette. Very dry. It's dry. Almost like a, a dry wine. It's, it is sherried. I'm getting some dried fruit. Oak. I'm not picking anything else up. It's definitely dried. I'm definitely getting that sherry and dried fruits and some oak. I want to say... Not a hundred percent if I'm picking it up or not, but I'm, I want to say I'm getting some walnut in there. It's possible, I guess. But that finish pops immediately, pops with that sherry again um, at the beginning, and it's fading, but it's fading to some nuttiness, some brown sugar. as that finish fades. The finish doesn't last very long as far as the tasting notes go, but I can feel it. It stays on that tongue. It's not burning. It's not gonna burn at 46%, but I know it's there. Um, the Whistler Irish Whiskey. I highly, 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 highly recommend. If you have, if they have any of the Whistler range in your store, you pick any and all of them up. You will not be disappointed. Uh, this one, I've had the Bodega cask finish, the Mosaic Marcella cask finish, the Oloroso Sherry cask finish, um, the Imperial Stout finish, the Double Wood, which is their cheapest one, but maybe their best one. <laughs> um, so I've, I've had this six from the Whistler. Um, and, and I know I'm rambling on here and I don't mean to, so I apologize, but again, recommend, this is a great everyday sipping Irish whiskey. Um, it's not, not too sweet. It's got a good ABV to it. it. It's got, it's got very, very good notes from nose to finish. Um, you will not be disappointed at all. Um, so the Whistler, PX, I love you. It's my uh, Irish whiskey for the month of February. So I probably won't see you or talk to you again. So have a great <laughs> Valentine's Day. Duh. And uh, you know, here I am pushing eight minutes. And uh, I didn't want it to take this long, but I haven't seen you guys in a while. So here I am. Have a great night.